Let's talk about the multi IQ plus function on the MyLab Manticore metal detector. You see, every single metal in the ground has a different conductivity, and some frequencies are better at picking up a certain kind of metal, while other frequencies find other metals better. And uh, it used to be that when you went to a field or wherever you went metal detecting, you had to choose a frequency. Do I want to look for small silver coins? Well, I would choose a high frequency then, 40 kilohertz. Or would I want to find big rusty iron battle axes at depth? Then, well, I would choose a low frequency. But now with the multi IQ plus in the Manticore series and the Equinox series of metal detectors, you can combine all of those frequencies at the same time. The machine will just scan through all of the frequencies with pretty much no drawback to you. So it's almost always superior to choose the multi frequency than picking a single frequency. And if you haven't chosen the multi frequency yet, you can do it by going into settings, frequencies, and from here you can just scroll until you find the multi one. There are some cases where it might be better to pick a certain frequency. For example, if you know that you only want to hunt small pieces of gold jewelry at shallow depth on a beach, for example, then perhaps you might want to think about using 40 kilohertz. But for most people, for most places, the true Vikings would recommend multi IQ plus all day long, every day. And that way you might actually find something that you can bring home to your wife and convince her that it was a good investment to buy that big, expensive, advanced piece of machinery. If you like instructional videos like this, uh, keep on clicking, there's lots of them. But for now, use multi IQ plus. Happy hunting out there. I hope you find something.